So a while back, a few of you guys asked if I can give a brief tutorial on how to use this auto outlines plugin. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there'll be a link right here, a card, a link in the description for you guys to download that. That's one of the plugins, the Final Cut Pro plugins that I created. Anyway, I'm gonna give you guys today a brief tutorial on how to use this plugin. All right, so this template guys is actually pretty simple to use. Once you've already downloaded it and put it in your titles folder in your motion templates, you'll see it pop up right over here. It's the Miles Elwa outline titled MZ outline. Go ahead and drag and drop that on to your clip. Now this is going to look different depending on uh, your source uh, clip, you know, depending on your highlights and your shadows. Uh, this outline right here is actually going to look a little different. And so if you click on that outline, go to your inspector, you'll see there's tons of different uh, parameters that you can adjust on this. Uh, right here is the quick pop. It just gives it a little extra depending on the clip. Uh, sometimes you can click that and it will just automatically uh, give you something that you desire. And if you want to go into a little more fine detail, go ahead and adjust like your outline depth depth your feel uh, if you want a more like sketchy look you can boost that up but if you want more of that outline just click that and then your smooth smoothness and again go ahead and just skim through there to see you know hey is this what I want <laughs> uh, so let me go ahead and adjust that just a little bit more I'm looking to get a little more of his head there we go something like that that looks pretty good all right so once we have that uh, what I want to do, I want to actually overlay this instead of it being offset. I want to overlay it a little bit over here. So what I'll do is go ahead and um, go to my outline position, hit zero. And then for my outline scale, I want it a little big, but not too much. I'll put 102%. That looks pretty good. Now it's outlined over here. pretty good. And I'm going to turn down that RGB fade. Yeah, like that. All right, so I still have a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily want in here, and that's these uh, little outlines because I'm going to add another, uh, like duplicate this outline and put it over here and one onto the right side as well. And if I were to do that right off the bat, uh, for instance, if I were to go ahead and duplicate this layer uh, and change the color right here, you'll notice. Um, sorry, let me uh, position it over to where I want to be. You'll notice all this is overlapping. You see all this orange is overlapping and it will be the same with the white if I uh, bring that over with another duplicate layer. So instead of that, let me go ahead and just delete this so when I duplicate it, you'll see what happens. I'm going to crop it. So here's your crop over here, crop left. Bring it over as much as possible. And again, you gotta be careful of how much uh, you end up cropping because they can still pop out of frame. For instance, if I were to move this over, you see his head is out of that white part right there. So I'm gonna have to bring it up a little bit. And if you wanna get super fancy and if you have all the time in the world, uh, you can go ahead and keyframe it too. So if you don't want that, you can actually have it lower and then uh, keyframe it. So once he's about to pop up into it, you can just drag that back about there and you'll see that it just keyframed it in there so you can do that too so once I get my Zyra look I'll go ahead and duplicate that like I mentioned before I would change the color of this let's change it to this color just for the sake of this video and let's move it over so now I have that <laughs> both outlines so now after looking at this I do want to move him over so he's not completely there we go yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Okay. Now I want to duplicate this one more time, put it up here, and I'm going to change it all the way to this side and change the color. Again, I'm going through this very quickly. Just for the sake of this tutorial, but yeah, there you go, there you have it. Now another option, so for instance, I can come over here, I drag this out and I just reverse this clip right here. Let me hit this blade, cut that, and when he hits this, bam, that pop right there, I want it just to be black with his sketch on it. And so what I did is just cut that, click on here, and just preserve opacity. Click that, and you'll see 
that it just went black as if it were the sketch. What we want to do now is I want more detail in this so it's not just him. I'm just going to take all my crops back down to zero and so it gives it a little more definition as he's dancing. What we can do then, uh, if you want, you can scale them up a little bit. Uh, you can bring a little more of that detail back into the shot uh, by changing the sliders right over here. Uh, there we go. And you can also change your color if you like. It's a pretty cool color. So, and then, boom. <laughs> pretty cool. And if you want, you can go ahead and add that RGB uh, fade into the mix over here so it gives it a little more uh, dimension and depth into it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. You can change the color up, you can keyframe the color, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go back over here. <laughs> and let's crop those sides back in once more. Like so. And didn't want to do the bottom, my mistake. Uh, and then let's just make it offset a little bit more right there. <laughs> so, so simple, so cool, I guess. Now this was not an extensive tutorial because I try to create uh, shorter videos um, that may change if you guys want more uh, in-depth tutorials or whatnot. But uh, if you guys uh, like what you see and if you have not downloaded the plugin yet, go ahead and download that. If you guys uh, found any help from this video, give it a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. I hope you guys enjoy this plugin and stay tuned. Until then, be blessed and have a wonderful week.